So the other thing I like about this spot is you can sort of start to see a soil horizon developing in the banks of the river here. Uh, these older, these river terrace deposits tend to form some of the richest soils around. So because they're fairly porous, they're fairly permeable, they have a lot of, they already have a lot of like a nice mixture of clays and sands in them. And the older a uh, deposit is, usually the more well-developed the soil is. So you see pretty decent soil on the more recent terrace deposits, but what's happening with this river is that the landscape is rising. And the whole reason we have Mission Gorge in the first place is that when landscapes rise upward, the uh, river tries to stay in approximately the same place, and thus the uh, land surface, um, and so thus you get these deeply incised uh, canyons. Um, so what's happening here is this land surface is rising, and there's terrace deposits that we're going to see as we walk get close to the hills that are have been around a lot longer. And in that case, the uh, accumulation of organic matter, the reaction of little acids and other things with the clay minerals and the uh, larger rock pieces has led to an even more evolved soil. It's one of the reasons that the uh, early Spanish explorers established the mission at uh, where they did rather um, is because there was really fertile soil in what is now modern day Grantville. And in fact, if we uh, do end up having a nuclear war, which in the near future, um, after the radiation levels die down, we could probably uh, break up all the uh, pavements in Grantville and have fertile farmland from which to rebuild a society. Hopefully it doesn't come down to that, but it does seem a bit shame how much of Grantville is now paved over given how good that soil is. That's all I'm going to say for my uh, social commentary for the moment, but yeah. So as we go up, take a look at the uh, soils, watch how the plant life changes, and uh, all right.